Okay guys, so I'm going to tell a wee pattern out of the book called The Trout and Salmon Flags of Wheels. Now the pattern that I'm going to tie is called the Princess Die. The hook I have on the face is a size 12 Partridge Patriot Double. The thread that I'm going to start off tying the fly with is Uni Thread 80 in white. This is just to keep the body bright as possible. So I'm just going to come in a couple of turns of thread on remove the waist tag of the thread now traditionally on the pattern it's a dub body with gold tinsel broad gold tinsel but because I'm tying a size 12 I want to tie it with a small oval gold tinsel and I'm going to create a tag at the back of the fly uh, I like to see a tag at the back of these flies. Simply just when the face take that. What do you hope the face take? <laughs> but when the face take the, the tag can just help prevent at times the materials slipping off the hook. So anyway, I've took four turns of the oval gold tinsel. I'm gonna bring the gold tinsel in between the the hook. And then I'm going to run my thread up and tying this in. Then I'm going to fold the tinsel back on itself for the rib and bring the thread back down. I don't need to be too fussy with the body in relation to lumps and bumps. The body's going to be dubbed. And the, the body is a you can use a yellow seals fur. Or in this case, I'm using a bright yellow traditional Irish dubbing. So I'm just going to take a small pinch of this. We're just going to dub it on the thread. Okay. Always remember taking your dubbing the one way. Slide the dubbing up. Then simply just bring up your dubbing on your thread. The length of the body, anything that's going forward. Just stroke it back. Okay. What I want to do is I want to come in with my black thread before I bring up the rib. And the thread that I'm this is just a uni thread, you don't black. I'm just going to come in, trim away the excess of the black, trim away your white thread. And then we can bring up the rib. Right. You've got three turns of the oval gold tinsel on the body. To there, bring it up to there, fight across with your thread. Get a couple of these tight turns in now to secure in the tinsel. Now you need to leave yourself plenty of room at the front. That's, a, that's going on up here. Now I just want to come in with my Velcro on my lollipop stick. Just want to brush out some of the dubbing. Just a small amount. Just give the fly a wee bit of leaf. I'm going to take turns in. Now, the haggle on the fly is a light blue. You can use a cock haggle. In this case, I'm using the, uh, this is a hen haggle. It's a hen cape. I'm just looking at a nice haggle here. So there's one there. Nice haggle. Just take that off the, the cape. Now, I'm just going to tie this in tip first. Offer this up to the hook. A couple of turns to catch in the tip, throw the tip back, a couple of turns back over, and then come in and break away the tip. And then you're just looking one turn in front of the other. Now, the turns of haggle, like I say in most of the videos, if not all of them, the turns of the haggle are up to you. Depends how good the quality of the haggle is. Just want to come in, just get that wee one there up. Just want to come in and see. Right. Yep, that's enough for me there. So I'm just going to come around, hold in the haggle, just flying around with my thread. I'm going to turn in the hold, a couple of turns to secure. And then I'll just come in and trim the excess of the haggle. Uh, I got this in the straight 
you stem underneath these tight turns of thread tying this in. Now, I'm just going to come in and spray straight any of the fibers. The way I caught one was just winding the, the hang all round. First part of the wing, grey squirrel tail. Nice grey squirrel tail. Now, right, took some off, put it in the stagger. Let's give that a wee rattle on my desk. All the tips have lined up. Let's take this out. Now, having the, the wing as long or short as you like. I'm just going to have it coming slightly past the bends of the hook. So I'm just going to hold it there on my finger and thumb. I'm going to come in and I'm going to trim this. Just to show you, look at it straight. That's a bit better now. Keeping the squirrel hair tight to the shank of the hook. Just come around with a pinching loop. And then another nice and tight. Nice tight turns now onto the onto the squirrel hair. Now, squirrel doesn't compress like most fibers. So it's best to come in and just I'll put on a bit of super glue, just let me take these wee cut ends away there, they just slip down. So I'm just going to come in and put a wee like a super glue under the thread. Just cut a wee fibers there, take those away. And then I'm just going to bring the thread down over the cut ends of the squirrel. Just securing this in nice and tight. And bring my thread back up. I'm just going to put in two strands of pearl kringle flesh, crystal flesh, into the wing. And I'm just going to set them just into the wing. Come around with a turn, pinch and loop, one turn to hold. Bring them in, get them positioned the way you like. I'm going to fold it back. Right, I'm just going to keep the both of them in like that. I'm going to come in and trim the excess. Of the pearl now this has an overwing on it and the overwing is white marabou so I'm just going to come in just take all the rubbish away from the bottom now you don't want too much of this stuff I'm just look at a small small pinch I'm just going to roll it in my finger and thumb now, just going to Take away the rubbish at the bottom, just gonna trim it away, thin it out a bit, moisten it. The last thing you want is to create bolt at the head. Right. Just gonna have this slightly longer than the than the squirrel tail. I'm just gonna come in, hold it there, I'm gonna come around with a pinch and loop. In a couple of tight turns. Now, just want to get it sitting right. Make sure it's on top. You come in with a nice pair of sharp scissors. Need good sharp scissors here. Come in, trim away the waste. Then we'll bring the thread down over the marabou. Tidying this up nice and tight. Don't want to put any super glue on my thread there with the with the marabou. Right. Should we favour just underneath? It's just come around on me, so I'm just gonna come in and take that away. Tidy this up. Okay. Let's get another couple of turns in. Nice tight turns in up against the, the marabou. Okay, I'm happy enough for that now. So there's jungle cock on the fly with two wee eyes here, two small eyes. So I'll just get these lined up in my hand. You're just seeing the other sides of them. Just going to offer these up to the to the hook. Just going to fold them down each side. I'll come around with a, a couple of loose turns. And see what way I'm sitting. Right, I want these the the same length. Just 
gonna pull this one in a bit. Okay, now I'm happy enough with that. So, let's get this one up a bit for me. Let's pop that into the wing like that. Okay, happy enough with that. Now, just keeping my thread tight. Just gonna come down with the turns. Nice and tight onto the jungle cock. Now, I'm gonna fold these wee stems back. Just means to say that the, the eyes can't pull out, they have to break off. And then we can create our head here at the same time. Right, let's come back. Nice and tight now. Just keep your thread tight. You can come in with your whip finishing tool and just throw on a few turn whip finish. Pull the thread tight. And then I'm going to come in and trim away the thread. Now, at this stage, see the marabou? I'm just going to come in and just going to take a small pinch off the top of the marabou. And then I'm going to come in and locate the stems of the jungle cock. I usually break these away, but they're pretty small, so I'll just come in and trim them. Come in and take your time. This wee one's trying to play hide and go seek with me. There it is there. Just trimming away. Now just to seal the head up. I'm just going to come in with a coat of super glue. First. You just want this on the head. Just watch you don't want this super glue going into the marabou. That would just be a, an absolute nightmare after tying the fly. Now, there you go. That's the wee fly. So that's the fly out of the Trout and Salmon Flies of Wheels. Now, what I would say is the only thing different there that I have done is just to reduce the materials to size. So originally, the body is a flat gold tinsel. If you're tying it on a bigger size, there's no flash in the wing. So look, give the fly a wee go and good looking wee fly and hopefully I can catch you a few fish.